I sense a great power within me. But I need to learn how to channel it. I need a teacher. Wanted. Cradle. Used but unworn. Need a bow to accompany me to a friend's wedding. Willing to trade a leaky pot for a cart? <laughs> Write these notices. Interesting. Maybe there is some magic in that place. I should check.
the Megasclip crystal. And the magical trail clearly points to its source. I shall try to conjure a portal to that location. is this powerful flow of magic emanates from a stone. Amen. I did death. I vita as death. Me, I did death. I vita as death. Hmm. Might. Quit. Cat lunit. Kuanas is sad. I led. I'm fine, thank you. Do you speak the common tongue? Squires, excuse me. I've taken to speaking to myself in Henlinde. Where am I? This should be an assay environment. A float in mid-air, true. I have been exploring the origins of a formidable magic intersection, which was located in the ice of the North Sea. Was located? Yes. When I tried to manipulate the flow of magic towards the air element, it trapped the space and whisked me away to this spot along with everything you now witness. It appears that the intersection is produced by that stone. At times, the flow becomes unruly, attracting hostile creatures. So it seems. I've stirred up a surge in the flow. <laughs> Indeed. Every time I make contact with the stone, a like event takes place. It's reminiscent of the workings of Alzur's double-cross magic, I'd say. Now I reckon I understand. Well, probably at least. I would like to become your apprentice. Well, first, you must demonstrate your agonies. I shall pose a few questions to you. I am ready. What is magic? Our in science of controlling chaos. Who was the first human sorceress and the virtuoso of air magic? Agnes of Clenville. Why was the practice of necromancy forbidden? Because it always leads to entirely negative side effects, despite any motives. From which element does the Witcher's Gwen sign derive its power? The Earth Element. Very well, you are prepared. And you've already familiarized with the basic spells. You can learn new advanced spells, or improve the ones you already know. 
Remember, you must successfully perform every new spell several times before advancing to the next one. You must decide which one sparks your interest. Understood. I will now explain how to execute this spell, and your responsibility will be to work it out by practicing. Kead, my young apprentice. You must decide which one sparks your interest. Understood. I will now explain how to execute this spell, and your responsibility will be to work it out by practicing. We meet again. Thank you for saving me. People say all kinds of things about witches. But I've always known yours to be an honorable guild. So you managed to salvage some goods? Yes. But I await the repair of my wagon. As time passes, my losses grow. Do you need something? I I'll let it go half free. Take care. Me about the Stay away from me and my family. Dad went missing one day, so folk nabbed a witchman that was hunting nearby, started poking him, asking. When well, he started twisting and squirming, so wham-bam, they knocked his head off. 
Aye, so it will. Except it was some drowner that had sat on the key. Witcher had nothing to do with it. What did the folk do? They could have sewed his head back on. Ah, greetings, apprentice. Could you assist me with something? Yes. What happened? Before your arrival, there were moments when I found myself contemplating the insidious nature of loneliness. That's why I welcomed a feline companion into my life. And the idea of crafting a loyal golem has crossed my mind on numerous occasions. However, Every attempt I made resulted in unsatisfactory outcomes. Presently, I have the utmost confidence that, in collaboration with you, we can bring into existence an astounding creature. Are there any risks we should be aware of? Unless you deem a wasted obsidian heart or an unruly hostile heap of stone as significant risks, then no. Sure. This is gonna be interesting. So, let us begin. I will summon the enlivening thunder, and while I do, you shall infuse it with the elements of earth and water, maintaining an equal balance. Megalwat, your son Sigilen, I have read Megalwat, your son Sigilen, I have read that. My ID death, I like it shed air as death. Hey, what is your name? What is your goal? I'm Celestine. I protect my creators. Master and mistress, and do what they order. Brilliant! We have succeeded. The aspect of water gives him extraordinary mindset. Welcome to my ship, Celestine. Thank you, Master. Ah, did it. Greetings. How much is E plus four? Damn two. Do you like this place? Yes. It is quiet. Blue. Beautiful. Are you experiencing emotions? I follow the algorithm. Anything outside of it is an annoyance. The rest is a calmness. Dear of any wishes? Calmness. Silence. Slowness. Are you aware of yourself? I was in the earth. Water. Air. Everywhere. And now I am here. See you later. Yeah. 
Your ass is Nebid, Pariva. No ordinary fog, this. The odor. Metallic almost. Someone placed an illusion here. Hmm, something here. Where's that artifact Kira gave me?
Hail Kertz Burak! Nes Tedatu. Gwyn hart fe gleid fiam. Eset en wat gen gehalt. Gwyn wat gen, wat gelm. Wat? Hail Kerzer! One false move and you will regret it. We crossed the Yara, we will cross the Pontar as well. Vavot! Something else? Hmm. How do things look in Velen? As bad as ever. Perhaps worse. This land never flowed with milk and honey, and now it flows with blood. Armies have swept through it several times. Trampling fields, looting granaries, burning villages. Famine grips the populace. Mm hmm So how's ruling that earthly paradise going for you? Not well, to be honest. Our forces are spread thin as it is, and Velen is chiefly swampy forests that are difficult to control. We've had several patrols never return to their camps. Thus, we've temporarily delegated authority in this region to a certain Nordling, a former low-ranking officer in the Temerian army, one Philip Strenger, better known by his nom de guerre, the Bloody Baron. I advise you well, avoid him. Any news from Novigrad? Is the free city still free? Yes. Although everyone knows this won't last. Radovid is in Oxenford, and the Emperor is here, in Vizima, at Novigrad's doorstep, both. And both require coin and ships. Novigrad can provide these. Which is why the mood in the city is... rather... well, on edge. Meaning? How do men deal with fear? They seek reassurance and scapegoats. The Church of the Eternal Fire understands this perfectly, and so it promises to improve the lives of its flock by pointing out the guilty. Who started the war? Who profits from it? Why, it's obvious. Mages, elves, dwarves. I've been stationed in Novigrad for 13 years. First as a consul, then as ambassador. I've seen a great deal. Cruelty, cynicism, greed. But what is happening there now concerns me greatly. Thanks for your help. Think nothing of it. May the great sun light your path. Yes, Gerald? Something else? How's the war going? I mean, apart from the fact that Nilfgaard's triumph is imminent. I assume this to be a private conversation. We've no witnesses, so let's dispense with the propaganda, even that shrouded in irony. Our offensive was going splendidly until winter came. Edern was in such disarray that we encountered no resistance. We had reached the Pontar before the first snows. Only a weakened Kedwin remained and Radovid's Redania, which had ignored the rest of the North's pleas for help. We thought they'd sue for peace, perhaps even submit to vassalization, 
We waited for spring, certain of victory. Radovid, submit. Yes, a vain hope, I agree. Radovid sent no peace envoys, nor did he advance on our positions. Instead, he trudged over the snow-bound Kestrel Mountains and attacked Kedwin, his ally. This attack took the Kedweni by surprise. They were still mourning the loss of their king. Rudderless and dejected, they laid down their arms after a few lost skirmishes and joined Radovid. And so by spring, instead of two weak enemies, we had only one powerful one. What about Tavir? Kavir values its neutrality, enough not to lend its armies, or more importantly, even its coin to either side. Returning to the war, this spring there was a massive battle in the marshes of Velen. Massive, yet indecisive. Both sides suffered enormous losses, unprecedented even. Radovid has retreated across the Pontar. He's safe for now, until reinforcements arrive from the south. Then Emperor Emir Var Enris will deal with him once and for all. Couldn't you just go home? Save everyone a lot of marching? Not to mention a few human lives. I'm afraid the stakes are too high to fold now. We can only go all in. Thanks for your help. Think nothing of it. May the great sun light your path.
Not so fast, Roach.
Robert McKellie. Arahan Luma! Robert McKellie. Nebid, Kariba.
An iron mine, depleted centuries ago. Something behind these roots. Summoned by a mage and left as a sentry. Gvela Glan. I'm too old to wander the world.